auf Erfolg der Abgesang. I can never do it big enough for Casper. I can't draw enough attention to myself. Hello, Brent. He's 100 miles an hour, and it's very difficult to catch up with him sometimes. I used to be kind of the engine, the you know, running around, and I still do that, but he puts me in the shade. He's amazing. Good morning, ladies and gents. He has boundless energy. Welcome to Club Nuremberg. Jesper? Casper Holton. For the past six years, the energetic Dane in charge of opera at London's Royal Opera House. And we have the rehearsal guide ready. Holton's now departed, leaving as his swan song a new take on Wagner's Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg. Instead of the usual setting in a small German town, Holton's moved the opera to a smart London gentleman's club. It talks a lot about guilds and clubs and groups and tradition. I must admit that coming to London, understanding that there are still clubs where women are not allowed members in 2017, that that's even legal, was to me a shock. And that sense of tradition is something that I think must be subverted. Wagner's Meistersinger is all about subverting tradition in a sense. It tells the story of a guild of master singers who hold a singing competition. The prize, remember this is set more than 500 years ago, is marriage to one of their daughters. Into the fray comes an outsider with a very different attitude to music making. Nuremberg is a village. It becomes alive in the Meistersinger. And then this new virus comes into town uh, that uh, keeps these old men on the balls of their feet. And will they accept something new? The Meistersinger is about change and about the new, but also about people's fear of the new. So of course you could bring uh, our Brexit into a piece like this. I think it's very timely. There's change everywhere. I and mean, we just have to look here in England, in America, but all over the world. It's topical. You know, the, there's a kind of a sinister zeitgeist in the world right now. This populist kind of message that's going out from a lot of politicians is giving the people a voice. When you direct the Meister Singer, a lot of people ask you, so it's about nationalism, what are you going to do about that? Because there is a famous speech towards the end where it's about, you know, national, national identity and national uh, tradition. In the opera, Bryn Terville's character sings of fighting for a sovereign Germany in the face of foreign invaders. On the surface, he's referring to German music traditions, but the undertone is about much more. Is this a Brexit opera? You can say it's an opera about Brexit, you can say it's an opera about populism, you can say it's an opera about London, in the sense that all these things are about change, all these things are about fear, about people struggling with how to react to a changed world. For sure, there are resonances of the language around Brexit when you hear the people talk about the fear of foreign influences, the need to pull back from the world. So it certainly it feels very topical in that sense, but to say it's an opera about Brexit would make it much more simple than it is. Casper Holton isn't just reflecting on Brexit, Trump and populism in this opera, but also looking back on his time in London, where he hasn't always been met with acclaim. The production he oversaw that depicted a violent rape on stage was considered one of the failures. Guillaume Tell by Rossini a couple of years ago, which famously here had a real, you know, on first night there was a chorus of boos and it felt very angry. There was a lot of people in the audience who really didn't like that production. 
So, of course, when I have to portray on stage a community reacting to an artist they don't like, that would be the natural reaction to draw on. Because after the first verse, they say, Was ist das? Like, it's, it's really funny. Everyone's like, I'm sorry, is it just me? Is this the world's most terrible song? I had an almost physical reaction remembering what it was like that evening a couple of years ago. I can't imagine. I don't know what it would be like to stand there on the stage having just offered up something that you really care about and have people yell boo at you. I mean, it's vicious. It's vicious. If the production was about me trying to say boo you back, how primitive and stupid and uninteresting would that be? The opera is not about Casper and it's not about Casper's experiences, but it's me trying to make it real and personal. <laughs> Perhaps the most personal touch in this opera is Halton's parting shot. He's changed the ending, not for the first time in his career, rejecting Wagner's happily ever after finale, where the tenor gets the girl and joins the Meister singers. In Halton's production, she turns them all down and leaves the stage. Somewhat controversial, it's a nod, albeit a subtle one, to a rejection of populism of any kind.